I don't think you can induct any team into the De La Salle Hall of Fame and not include the 92 football team. They were a key element in our program. And the reason being is I had coached here already and coached on, what was it, probably, what, 14, 13, 14 seasons here. And we kind of got into a, a, a we flatlined in a lot of ways. In, the, in maybe about three years prior to the 92 team. And the 92 team elevated our program in a really dramatic way. I mean, we made a huge jump with those guys. And what I meant, mean by that is they raised the bar another level for De La Salle football. I think a key element for that was uh, uh, bringing, in, bringing on Steve Le Lexcos as an assistant coach. For me, the whole year boiled down to trying to teach these boys what it meant to be adults, which in my book is to be accountable and truthful to yourself, deal in the real world. The, the love and the bonding on this team all comes from, in my opinion, that layering of, of the truth. The moment that I believed that I had an unusual or a powerful group on my hands, and you know, I can't pick the game, I really can't, but I can tell you the situation. We were on about the five yard line going in and it was third down, and we ran a rushing play and scored and we got a penalty. We're now on the 15, I believe it was, third down, and we stuck it in and scored. We got another penalty, and we're back on the 25, maybe the 30. And I remember seeing one of my linemen step out of the huddle and turn to the rest of the linemen and just demand that we're getting, we will not be denied, we're getting into that end zone. And I could sense from the sidelines the absolute, not belief, but knowledge, they knew no matter what happened, they were getting into that end zone. Welcomed it. They came off a loss in 91 in an NCS title game, had a lot of juniors on that team, and they made a decision that they were going to bring this program up to another level, and they did it. And they... When you look around the locker room during that loss, the people that were most destroyed were the juniors. You know, we were, we were wrecked, and we came out that next season, and uh, we pulled tires and we worked harder than than I think you can ever imagine and it was because of the fuel that was that was there from that moment so taking to the best experience it was Pittsburgh Coliseum uh, senior year all on the line you know memories of that loss burning the the kind of passion that we all felt as a group that we wanted to win mm -hmm.